de pasta Ah, uh, tikede. <laughs> Pastor Steven Yekan, who had not had our board medicine, a university of Kanye, a Morgan Christina tikede team man, a jolly kede war doctor. In case you've just joined us, this is one of Popo One, Feb FM Radio. We are having a team from Revival Fountain Ministry in the studio of one of Popo One, Feb FM Radio. We are in Gulu City. You're most welcome. Remember, the word of the Lord is coming as immediately as possible to change your life to transform your life, and above all, to heal you in Jesus' mighty name. Let me take this opportunity to welcome the team right away, but also remember to join us on our uh, Facebook page, uh, Feb FM 104.1, and then you like the page. You can also send us messages, prayer requests. You can also share with others. Amen. Uh, Pastor, you're welcome. With great honor. Thank you. What a privilege to be here again. We're so grateful to God for having given us the opportunity to be here today. And I want to thank God for all the listeners and those of you who are viewing us on social media platform. May the Lord bless you. And uh, please be with us up to the very end of the program. We're so excited to, to you know, here and see what God is doing. Today, today I'm going to share with the word of God. As usual, I believe your life is going to be blessed. And, uh, thank you so much for always being there for us and with us. There would be no reason for us to come here and, uh, and speak for, you know, all these minutes if there is nobody listening to us. So we want to thank you for listening. Please listen all the way to the end. Today I want to I want us to go to the book of Matthew. I want us to go to Matthew chapter 6 and we're going to start from verse 31 after verse 33. The Bible says, Therefore take no thought saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what uh, wherewithal shall shall we be clothed? Bible wachi pimero pe ubet ki pano pol kunu wachi wabi chama ngo unyoni wabi mata ngo unyoni wabi ruka ngo. For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly knoweth that ye have need of these things. Yen lu rock gitie ga yenu jami magiduju. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. The, the title of my message today is Kingdom Mindedness. Being kingdom minded, in other words. Let's, let's pray. Gracious Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and our dear Father, we want to thank you for today. Lord, we count it all a privilege for us to speak to your children. And I, I humble myself today that this word will sink in somebody's heart. It is your word that is important. I pray that my wisdom shall not be used here. And anything Thing that comes from my personal wisdom and interest. Lord, I pray that they will, they will not succeed. But let your will be done in this message this afternoon. Let the word change situations. Let the word heal the sick. Let this word save somebody's soul today. I thank you and I bless you, Lord. In Jesus' most precious name, I have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So being kingdom minded, Jesus gathers his, the people around him. Because his, you know, his nature was he was speaking to them, teaching them. And Jesus would teach the issues of life, the practical life issues. You see, today when we're speaking in conferences, some people speak very complicated things. Where you, where you, you need to either, you know, memorize or do something for you to be able to remember. 
But Jesus was straight to the point. He used simple illustrations. The things that are around us. So at this particular point, he's speaking about one very key thing in human life. And that is the aspect of concern. We, 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 we are concerned about what are we going to eat. Concerned about, you know, where will I live? Concerned about what will I put on? And that is what we keep thinking every day. You woke up this morning, possibly, thinking about one of those things. If you have a child that is supposed to go to school, you are asking yourself, where will I get school fees? Because you, you see, it seems, you know, it's, you don't have a solution right now. But Jesus told this, these people, whom he was teaching, including his personal disciples, he told them, you don't need to worry. When we begin from up before where we started from, we, we will realize that Jesus was even talking about, you know, the beauty of the trees, the beauty of the leaves, the, the flowers, they don't sow, they don't reap. And, but, God, but God supplies their needs. But in this verse 31, Jesus says, you don't need to be worried. Take no thought about what you will eat, what you will drink and what you will wear. Because your Father in heaven knows about those things. God knows that you need them. And he says the Gentiles seek such things. Who are the Gentiles? The Gentiles are those who do not know God. Those who are not in God's agenda and God is not in their agenda. You see, when God calls a group of people Gentiles, it means they're not part of his, I mean, they're not his chosen children. And so, and that is why Jesus came and he says there is no difference between the Jews and the Gentiles when you are born again. Because when you get born again, you become a Jew by faith. Not by, by birth, but by faith. Because you believed in Jesus, the Son of the Living God. And so the Bible says, Jesus says, don't worry about what to eat. In other words, don't put your mind on the things of this earth. Because those who put their minds on the things of the earth, 24-7, without thinking about the heaven, the kingdom of God, those people are considered to be Gentiles. They are not people of God. But as for you who is listening to me this afternoon, the Bible says, seek you first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. The kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Then everything shall be added to you. Things are supposed to be added to us. Ladies and gentlemen, if Satan is going to succeed in taking you to hell, God forbid, if Satan will succeed, he will play with the things that you desire. The things that your heart is craving for is what Satan is going to bring your way. And they will confuse you. They will draw all your attention to the things. And your attention shall be removed away from God. But my prayer this afternoon is that do what Jesus says. And he's saying with with the passion in his heart. He says, seek you first the kingdom of God. You know, Jesus says, you are my disciples. If you do what I command. And now today he's commanding. He says, let your heart be about the kingdom of God. Seek God, seek the kingdom of God. Be kingdom minded. God knows that you need money. God knows 
knows you want to be rich. God knows you want these things of the world. You live in the world. God sent you in the world. You see, don't think that before you were born, God did not know you. He told Jeremiah before you were born, I knew you. And I ordained you in the womb before you were in the womb. That you were going to be born. In other words, I sent you on earth. And I appointed you to be a prophet. That is God. God knows. He knows everything you need. Your responsibility is not for you to crave and search and run after these things. But your concern is the kingdom of God. Your mind, your heart, your spirit, your body should be consumed by the desire of the kingdom of God. When Jesus taught his disciples how to pray, he told them, he says, pray that your will be done in heaven. I mean, on earth as it is in heaven. Let your will be done here on earth. Not the will of our flesh. Let your will, God, be done on earth as it is in heaven. Children of God, listen to me. I keep saying this every day. We shouldn't forget. Even when we're looking for money. Even when we're doing business. This world is temporal. The kingdoms of the earth are temporal kingdoms. There is a permanent kingdom. There is a better kingdom. There is a more glorious kingdom. That is the kingdom of God. That is the kingdom you should desire. Don't run after the things that perish. Everything in this world perishes. Even the mountains you see. If Jesus will tarry, days will come. Those mountains shall be eroded. You even when you go to the to the mountain foot, you see small rocks that have decayed from the bigger rocks. It doesn't matter how long it has taken. It always deteriorates and erodes. Ladies and gentlemen, you need the kingdom of God. And you need the king of the kingdom. You need Jesus in your life. And I, I pity many Christians. When you go to church, the church you go to, Mr. Rich Man, Mr. Rich Woman, Mr. Businessman, you come from a luxurious house. You come from a gorgeous car. You, you, you put on fine apparel. And you come to this church. And you're entering the church called the Church of Jesus Christ. You have all the money. In fact, you, you gather people in your house. You buy them drinks to have. When you organize a party, you give them a whole bowl. But when you come to the church of Jesus, the house is all dusty. The roof is leaking. We are not and you're comfortable about that. What are you thinking about? What are you chasing after? Are you concerned about the kingdom of God? Or the kingdom of men? You want to build your own kingdom? Will you indeed, the day you leave this earth, will you go with that house? Jesus said something. He said, do not store your wealth here on earth where mouth and rust will, will destroy. But store your wealth in heaven where no insects will destroy your wealth. I pray for you today. Become kingdom minded. Children of God, we need to be kingdom minded. We have been family minded. We have been clan minded. 
in a jolly land. Many Christians and believers, whenever there is funeral rites, they force you to give a goat. They say you give a cow because you're a child of this family. And in the church of God, you know what you offer? 200 shillings with all confidence. And is that minding about the kingdom of God? After making friends with the world, where are you going? There is a kingdom. The kingdom of God is a better place for you. Invest in the kingdom of God. Do not waste all your life in the things of this world because you are going to leave this world at the right time one day you are going to be surprised you know I tell people jokingly I say life is very funny one day, this is what is going to happen. You will sleep and you will wake up and you are no more. You will sleep and you will wake up and you are not here. You are in another place. All the houses you built, all the good things you have, you will wake up one day and you get surprised. But these things are not there with you. And you will say, oh foolish me, I wasted all my life. I was chasing after money. I was chasing after this. Listen, children of God. Jesus said clearly, the, your father in heaven knows that you need these things. You know, I've been telling people at church, be concerned about God. God will for sure. He does not lie. God is not a liar. That you know there is someone who loves him. Who prays to him. Who is concerned about him. Then he just you know rejects them. And say find your own level. You have served me in vain. That is not my God. That is not my God. You know David said. I was young. And now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken. I have never seen his children beg for bread. If you are kingdom minded, God will be mindful of you. That is why the Bible says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. From today, become conscious about the kingdom of God because that is where you will end up. If you invest your life around the things of the world. You wake up in the morning. All your dreams. You dream money. You dream business. You dream, you dream car. You dream. You have never had a dream about angels. You have never had a dream about God. Ladies and gentlemen, I, you are in a wrong place. Your life is in a wrong place. You know, why don't you sometimes change your dreams? You know, you, you go to the hospital when people are after anesthesia, like you have been injected and they're waking up. The, the words that people wake up with will amaze you. Uh, some people wake up with the funny words. I will pray that when you go undergo operation and they put you under anesthesia and now you're waking up. You are looking at heaven and you are worshipping and praising God. That will prove if I am the doctor, I will even know this one is the kingdom minded person. This one, no way, no way. Ladies and gentlemen, from today, don't invest your life in the things of this world too much because they are temporal. If you want much money, let me tell you the secret. Get much money to support the gospel. Get much money to build the church. Get much money. That is what God is looking for. People who are kingdom minded. Mindful of the kingdom of God. After you have run after the things of this earth. And you are very, very tired. You know, the, 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 the trauma 
and the frustration does not wait for heaven. Some of them begin right here on earth. Some people when they're 70 years old, you see that you have everything. And sometimes you don't have people. Nobody's around you. You know, Sometimes the poor people have some advantage over the rich people, by the way. One time I went to a home. A, a home of a very rich man. But this man, because he's rich, he said, oh, my firstborn will study in America. My secondborn is studying in Russia. The other one is studying in the United Kingdom. And all his children scattered abroad. And because he had all the money, he paid them to study and study and study. And these children got jobs in those countries. The old man is old without children around him. Then you wonder, if he was poor, maybe you'd say, oh, my elder son, you build your house here. So when you're too old, completely old, at least maybe a grandchild, but this man is, cannot even see a grandchild. Just because he was so rich that he was able to pay his children to stay abroad and stay abroad. You begin to wonder, is that is this what I live my life for? My friends, if you have resources at your disposal today, if you have money, invest in the kingdom of God. You will thank yourself later. If you have something, if you have land, land, this land which people are fighting for, in that village, give it to God. Give land for the church. Call some church, say, build a church here. Some two people will get saved in that land. You have invested in the kingdom of God. Instead of, you know, fighting, gathering, gathering, and after all, you know, 1 Corinthians tells us something very profound. 1 Corinthians says, everyone's work shall be tested. <laughs> so when you, when you come at the gate of heaven, my friend, and, uh, oh God, and all, all the things you have done, I'm following you. Which of your works do you want to follow you? Which house do you want to follow you to the gate? Which car out of the, those ones you have do you want to follow you to the car? To the, to the gate of the Ladies and gentlemen, every time I go for burials, like on Saturday we send off our dear woman of God, Pastor Juliet. Every time I go to these places, I understand what Jesus said. It is better to go to a house of mourning than to a house of marriage. Because every time I'm there, I'm reminded, hey, my time is coming soon. Am I ready? What am I going with? And then they keep telling you stories. You know, and they, everybody has left behind something that they did not want to leave. Be kingdom minded. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Just in two minutes, let me talk about righteousness. The kingdom and his righteousness. Now Christians, listen to me. You, you, I don't know what, what has come over us. 90% I'm a pastor. 90% of Christians who come to church come with some kind of hypocritical attitude. 90%. I'm telling the truth. Nobody comes and you know this one is truly born again. Because this one's come, they pay tithe, they pray, they do this. When they go back to their workplaces, they're thieves. 
They steal money. The money you're paying tithe in the church, you stole it. Oh, Jesus, have mercy on us. Where are we going? Where are you going? Righteousness means do rights when there is golden opportunity to do wrong. When you have opportunity to do wrong, just do right. It is painful to be righteous, I'm telling you. Mr. Man of God, the anointing is there. You are anointed. You pray people get healed. And yet you don't have money. Righteousness will say, do not turn to cult. Don't start selling the anointing. You remain there. Even if you don't have any money and you die without any money, you will go to a place where there's gold and silver in heaven. That is righteousness. It depends. It squeezes you. I'm telling you by experience. Experience. Pastor Joseph Okidi, the singer, the preacher, the evangelist, right now, if it was not righteousness, I should have been the richest pastor, not only in Gulu, but in northern in Uganda, I'm telling the truth, I walk in miracles, I'm one of the most anointed musicians, but I'm telling you, I still sleep in the Fonyo Kejo, <laughs> praise the living God, I still drive the whole day's car, in town. Because the temptations come to me also. The devil comes to the pastor. This one, this one, this case here. You need to demand something. Yes, and 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 you the righteousness say you receive for free. Give it for free. You are going to heaven. Ladies and gentlemen, seek the kingdom and God's righteousness. Don't let wickedness enter you. If you are a Christian, remain a Christian. You will know that you're going to heaven. And indeed, you will go. The reason I'm coming here is not to come to just talk to people, it's to walk my way to heaven. Yes, I'm walking my way to heaven. That one day, you, I will hear from my master. Well done. Good and faithful servant. Having said all this, are you outside there living your life? for this world. You have chased after the things of this world. You have been chasing after men, men and men, after women, after the thing, pleasure of this world. Why don't you change today? I ask you today, by the mercies of God, Give your life to Christ. Live a Christian life. Don't enter into the compromise we are, we are seeing today. Where someone goes and, and fornicates. They come to you boldly. Say, Pastor, you say, Pastor, my weakness is fornication. <laughs> Who told you fornication is weakness? It is a sin. It's, that is a sin that leads you to hell. Me, for me, everything I can do but stealing, <laughs> that is my weakness. And, it, and it's a common language. We think it's just a weakness. When we're actually sinning, live a righteous life. Live a holy life for God. The time is running so fast. Jesus is coming back soon. We will meet there. I will, I will see you there. You will see me there. If you go where I'm going. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if you, if you choose not to go my way. For me I have decided. I have decided who co crook. I must go to heaven. Jesus help me. So I want to pray for you. want to receive Christ Jesus right now. Just say this prayer. After me. Say Lord Jesus. I give you my life. Write my name in the book of life and remove my name from the book of death. Jesus Christ, I acknowledge I am a sinner. I've sinned against you in many ways. But today, my Lord, please write my name in your book of life. I confess 
after believing that I'm born again in Jesus' name. Father, I pray. I pray for my sister. I pray for my brother who has heard your word, has been convicted by your spirit. And now they have made a decision to turn away from their sinful ways. How I pray that you save them just like their faith has confessed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I bless you today. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you for speaking to me and for speaking to your people. Help us to be kingdom minded. It is your kingdom which is eternal kingdom. The kingdom of the earth is not eternal. It is always temporary. If we will outlive what we have, those things will also perish. Thank you, Father, for your word today. In Jesus' Jesus' name I pray. If you received, I mean, you prayed that prayer, you just gave your life to Jesus Christ. Now walk according to the word of God. Do not compromise your life. There will be sweet things, glittery things around you. Like, the, like that, that apple. That whatever, I mean, the fruit that Eve ate, very nice looking, but, but, it can send you out of the Garden of Eden. So we want to use these few minutes to pray for people. There is a big anointing of God here today to heal every sick person. Hallelujah. So let, let me give you back to Christine so that we can receive phone calls and pray for you. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, team from Revival Fountain Ministries. Thank you so much, Pastor Joseph Okirian. Uh, thank you so much, Pastor Stephen. We are taking a few calls on our line 0783-833-237-0753-0593-853-0793-198-288. Move away from you. I already said if you're calling. Hello, Beverly. Hello. Yes, my sister. Mm. Hello. Yes, my brother, you're welcome. Yes, I want first to first pray for our family. Yes, what's up? And even me, even me, and just I'm um, very sick. I'm passing through the difficulty of life. Ah. One person to pray for my lovely grandfather, our little Peter. Hmm. He's not feeling well. Pastor, I will pray Thank for you. you. Thank you so much. Hello, Favor Radio. Favor FM, hello. Hello. Ah, uh, Julie Williams. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Lare, okay, but we like Mamma Nunia, Niwanya, Nina. 
But I know there's so many people with many problems, many, many challenges. But I want you to know this, that our God never fails. Our God is a faithful God. If you open your heart to God, but right now, you, you, you don't even need to call. Just, just connect. Connect and the, just hold whatever there's pain. That's where you feel the pain. God will heal you now. As he already knows that you need to be well. He's only waiting for your faith to connect. If you can connect to God, surely your life will not be the same. What is it? Is it a marital problem? Believe God right now. As I pray, because time is short, I'm going to pray. A prayer of faith that anybody right now who is listening, having any kind of challenge, as your heart desires, it, let it be done to you according to your faith. Father, in the name above every name, none other than the name of Jesus, today I again bless you because by your word you glorify yourself. Right now, in the name of Jesus, there are thousands of people listening to this message. Many have been touched. Now I pray, let your fingers of healing touch each one of them. Every sickness be healed right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, there are family dis problems. Many families are living in this hurry. And so today, in the name of Jesus, we want to pray for the family of Kevin. In the name of Jesus, the Lord, you will reveal yourself. I know that there can never be unity in the devil's kingdom. Save these people, my father, that they will know you. Because only true unity is in one Lord Jesus Christ. Open their eyes. Let them come to you. We thank you, King of Glory. 
I thank you, Father God, for Justin I from Kidgum. Justin, my high Kidgum. I pray for the grandfather. I pray for healing now. Touch him and heal him now. I speak instant healing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. I bless your name, my Father God. I thank you for Angeletta. I rebuke. I pray be healed right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, that pain has gone. That pain has gone. May the doctors be surprised right now. Oh, what has happened? You are able, my God. You are the healer. In the name of Jesus. I pray for the mother of Simon. Margaret. Margaret. I rebuke that demon. Any spiritual influence of her life. Any demonic influence. Right now in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. I say I rebuke you. Get out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father God. I will thank you for my brother who just gave his life to Jesus from Amora. Lord, I bless you for his life. Let him stand strong, my Father. Touch his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever sickness and pain in his life be healed in the name of Jesus. I pray for Gen Rot. Heal him now, my father. Let, them re let him receive your healing. In the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for Pauline. Father, I pray the anger that Pauline has for you and so many people who are like Pauline. Father, it can be quenched by your word. I pray that you satisfy her with your very word, my God. In the most holy name of Jesus, release your word right now. Release your word right now. Release your word right now. Word right now. Strengthen her, my God. Empower her. Fill her with your spirit. Receive the spirit of God. There are so many people what you have desire is not what you're living in. Every time you hear the word of God, it's like you're waking from a dream. You realize you need this thing. But the moment right now when I stop and sign off this studio, you forget and go back to your old ways. May God hold your hand today. May the word of God ring in your mind and your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because it's done. In Jesus' mighty name. Our brother, our court from uh, Moyo. The scripture we read, Matthew chapter 6, from verse 31 up to verse 33. And we want to thank God for all of you. Those of you who are always, you know, glued to this program, you, you, you keep listening and, and watching us. May God bless you so much. Now, as a ministry, we have a big mandate, and we send this call out. God has laid a burden in my spirit. Every village without a church in this region must have a church. I don't have the financial capacity. I have a spiritual capacity. Would you send us? Would you, would you give us that piece of land? As a ministry, you give to the church, not to Pastor Joseph O'Keefe, so that even Pastor when I die, the church will be there. I will grow old and leave. If you are there, you want to support us financially or in any other way as a ministry, please you can put this number down and call us to tell us which support you want to give to the ministry. You know, I was telling the church yesterday, at my age, I don't see myself doing any other thing apart from serving God. I have debated, debated, should I go to something else, should I do this? until I am settled. So don't, don't be afraid. My number is 0782 508822 0782 And uh, you can call Pastor Stephen 0775 602638 Beach uh, Jara Bera Bera Beach, Abichel Jaro, Rio Bichel, 
Pia Radaka Bon. God bless you. See you on Monday. Amen. Amen. Amen.